How are you guys? Uh, how are you doing? This is Shox and this is Shox Capital FX. Today we are back with an interesting discussion where we talk about um, the lower time frame and the higher time frame. Is the lower time frame a waste of time? We are here to talk about that. So guys, uh, welcome back and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your post notification so that you don't miss any of these intriguing discussions. So guys, uh, we are back and let's get it rolling. <coughs> guys so uh, to start off our discussion obviously we're going to start off with uh, uh explaining what a lower time frame is and what do we mean by uh is it a waste of time or things like that so a lower time frame is any time frame that is um below the h1 so we're talking about the m30 m15 m5 m1 uh, m30 seconds uh if there's anything like that so that's what we are talking about so and when you talk about higher time frame, you're talking about H1 and going upwards, uh, yeah, at least for this uh, discussion. So what you're talking about here is, um, uh, are we supposed to dwell our uh, analysis on the higher time frame and not go to the lower time frame? And what happens if you go to the lower time frame? So we're going to start with a, an interesting question. Have you, have you realized that um, most of the other blocks that you mark on the higher time frame on the h4 on the d1 work out most of the times and if you try to enter on the lower time frame most of your trades are stop outs have you noticed if you have just let me know in the comments uh, tell me your story let's continue the discussion so let's uh, let's look at this um high time frame order blocks if you look at this it worked out you look at uh, this, it worked out. You look at this. So most of the higher time frame order blocks, they work out. Why? Because the higher time frame um, tell you is, is, is tell you most of the story. Yeah, like the the gist of the story is seen on the what on the higher time frame. So on the lower time frame, there is a lot of uh, activity. By that I mean. If you mark the H1 uh, or the H4 order block like this, right, and you go on the lower time frame, the amount of action or the amount of price action you are going to see on the lower time frame is going to be a lot. And most of the times it might be uh, confusing. You understand? So if you then come to the higher time frame, you and uh, on the higher time frame, what you are looking at is uh maybe just two things you look at the order block then you look at the candlesticks that retest and the next candlestick so what i mean by that is when price gets into the order block retest right it, the next candlestick is what tells you uh the story that you want to know right so by that i mean when we want to sell uh let's look at this obi when we want to sell this is the obi that retests the order block first the blue order block then when this red order block then prints the close of that red order block is your entry or you are going to be getting involved by means of a what a limit uh, so if you use a sell limit there you are going to be in the trade and uh you are not going to be waiting for a lot of what a lot of price section and a lot of noise you're just going to get in and your stop loss is the red line and your take profit is there uh next what the next law like this and you're going to get your one and three easily you understand so that's what you want to do and if you are uh playing on the on the higher time frames the story is going to be less and the confusion is going to be less again you are you're not going to be looking for a lot of things you are going to be uh looking only for order blocks and for retest and for confirmation and the confirmation is just a a candle in the color of the direction that you want to go so if you want to buy the minute it prints the the bullish order block inside the what the the point of interest that's your entry that's your trade and that's what you are you are doing so let's look at this example this is a very good example this is the what the the m fed right so price gets into the order block prints this uh, blue or b when it prints the red you are in so that's the confirmation uh, here that's your your sell your stop loss goes above and your tp is here your tp is right here so what you are doing here is simply 
you are waiting for just two things the retest and confirmation but then if you go to the lower time frame let's say you go to the m5 the story is going to be to be complicated why because you're going to be having a lot of information you're going to be having a, to be waiting for a break you're going to be waiting for a change of character you're going to be waiting for that so to me if you if you are trading for the long term you ought to use the what the higher time frame and you have to 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 to, to play on the higher time frame most of the times so why because you'll be doing it for the long term and you don't want to be scalping all the time so if you don't want to be scalping let's play on the what on the higher time frames you go to the h4 you you mark your your resistance your support your your order blocks your 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 demand and supply and you play what at the higher uh time frame and if you play at the higher time frame it is um you are going to be to be winning 80 percent of your trades if you are using this uh, this method and you 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 can cut me and you you are going to be winning most of your trades if you play on the what if you play on the what on the higher time frames why because uh evidently that's um where price is going to be to be making most of his what its decisions price is going to be determined on the what on the higher time frame if you look at the h4 the price action is close to clean it's clean price action you are not going to be waiting for long um if you are trading let's say you are trading five pairs you are not going to be waiting for long to to get into trades you are going to be getting your trades um uh, maybe you are going to get one one trade per day and if you are trading for the long term that that's more than enough guys that's more than enough and you'll be good to go so guys that's that's all my discussion on the what on the uh, importance of the time frame so you ought to play on the higher time frame the higher the time frame the better the setup the higher the time frame the better the setup so guys let's continue the discussion do you think the higher time frame offers more opportunity compared to the what to the lower time frame let's continue the discussion let's continue the discussion and let's let's hear what you guys have to say about the higher time frame and how you ought to be playing on the what on the higher time frame guys uh, this has been my 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 view i'm out and enjoy the rest of your week